Yasin Chikawi is one of the world's top soccer players, captain of FC Zurich in Switzerland and a player in Tunisia's national soccer team. He's a modest man in spite of the $1.4 million he earns annually because he's a devout Muslim who would never steal something and he has no need to either as a top professional soccer player in the European and World Championships League. But in spite of the man's fine character, for the Swiss Nazi people he's just another subhuman without the Alpine Hermrasse profile. So when a couple of weeks ago on May 28, 2015, the Swiss Nazi police saw the Muslim strolling through Zurich with his wife wearing a hijab, the Muslim scarf, in the Bahnhofstrasse next to the Hotel St. Gotthard where Hitler stayed in 1923 when the Swiss financed him. The Swiss fascist cops said to themselves, well let's grab the Muslim, throw him to the ground and lie something together for criminal statistics against immigrants. <coughs> so they lied that the, that the multi-millionaire top soccer player had stolen a handbag. Say what? A handbag again and again in Zurich? Another Swiss handbag affair just like the one with Oprah Winfrey two years ago in 2013 also in Zurich? Oh come on Swissy, your lies are too obvious and transparent. And in fact the Swiss practice a thing called racial profiling plus to humiliate and intimidate immigrants on their racial profile and in this case Mrs. Chikahoui's hijab or Muslim headscarf to make them feel they're not welcome in clean little fascist Switzerland. And why the plus? Well, because on top of that they lie things together like the theft of some elusive fictional non-existing handbag. Or as they've done with these poor souls a few days ago in Switzerland who were premeditatedly criminalized through lies by the Swiss criminal mind so the fascist Swiss Justice Department can make them work for free. With the discriminating text Drecksack meaning dirtbag on their backs as being exposed in some medieval village square by the Inquisition and their Swiss guard tied unto a wooden pole with your head and hands locked in. Oh yes, Swizzy loves the Middle Ages indeed, which presence never left the octagon of the Alps in spite of the gold and wealth shining upon layers upon layers, while Swizzy smiling through his teeth just making some splendid and immoral banking transactions. You see, you know, it was they, they really did it hard, you know, it says pressed. Well, this is the, the funny uh, translation. And uh, it says he was in the Bahnhofstrasse, you know, that's, uh, you know, where Hitler was as well. And uh, it's, it's quite a typical place. And says his wife was very shocked and, and they just lie you know if, if he wouldn't be the the uh, the VIP soccer champion you know then he would have gone to prison they would have lied things together and he would be picking uh, garbage from the streets with the uh, with a signed dirt bag on his back and Swissy police have their morale boosted by their Swiss cousins in the US momentarily gunning down so many black people randomly in American streets by the US killer cops of Swiss origins. Just as the Swiss sleeper agents contingent did in Germany. And when it turned out that their Muslim tango was not going to be an easy target after all because of his VIP status, more lying continued, saying 
Well, it was just an accident. With more likely the only accident <laughs> that someone videotaped the muscled racial profiling arrest, revealing the tip of the iceberg in the Alps. And here it says Zurich cops on the fire. Well, they'll never get under fire and they know it. They can do whatever they want. They just, the Swiss people, you know, because it gets internationally known, this affair, so they just want to appear, you know, as a decent and um, civilized country, as, as if somebody would do something about it, you know. Well, the only thing they do is show it for this reason, you know, only in this case, because he's a VIP, otherwise they don't show anything at all. And then you'll never hear anything of it anymore, you know, that's what they do, yeah. Always the same. A bunch of liars. Bahnhofstrasse, you see? So you can read the whole article here and another article. I, I don't even know what it says here. Just as they did with Sean Ross here of the Pharaoh Show, sending him an anti terrorist squad because of his YouTube videos and international newspaper articles and um, Swiss police lying things together. So they can also make him work for free with a signed dirtbag on his back and sentencing him again to prison now for 220 days based upon the same scandalous Swiss Nazi police lies in tight collaboration with their nepotist pals of the Swiss fascist judiciary. Just as they did with football star Yassin Chikahui and his wife in this particular era which devout Muslims, like Mr. Chikahui, call the Kiamat, the end time era, where all gets transparent and evil revealed. The evil of Switzerland and their dirty Nazi lies and immense crimes against humanity, organized out of Pharaoh's base of all evil, Octogon of the Alps. Die sind nicht als Mieter hier. Ja. Die Kinder müssen Die haben nicht Ferien. rauskommen. Die Mach jetzt das weg. Don't touch me. Get your hands Go off out. me. Go out. Was bist du für ein Wecker? Viel zu viel von den Ausländern. Ein paar sind ein paar ja. Ausländer, weil wir alles hätte gehabt. Was hat er mal gesagt? Hat? Was? Die Polizei bekannt dich. Ja. Jetzt zeigen wir ihn mal an. Ja, oder? mach mal. Okay. Ja, ich warte. Ich oh, noch aggressiv werden. Da oh je. Und wie heisst du? Ich bin nicht Und wie heisst du? Wenn ich hier nicht wohlfühle, dann kann ich nichts dafür. Ihr seid hierher gekommen. Oh, das ist ein bisschen.